everyone, it's Maki here. There's a small update on the movie Gundam Seed Freedom. Important terms from the story have been released. Much of the content serves as a review of the Seed and Sea Destiny series. It's been over 20 years in the real world since the Seed series began. This announcement about the movie is crucial information for those who have become interested in the Seed series after seeing it. Now, let's check out the newly added content. Firstly, regarding Compass, which Lawless is presiding over as president. A global peace monitoring organization formed by the leadership of Kaveri Yuraathir under the auspices of Old Front and the Atlantic Federation. It has its own unique forces provided by the three nations and its headquarters are located in France Aurelius. It has been revealed that the supporting nations for Campus are Old Front and the Atlantic Federation. Previously released images led some fans to believe that the Earth Alliance was supporting Campus and that the Atlantic Federation was leading its support. I am among those fans. It seems that the Earth Alliance as a whole does not endorse Campus. In past stories, the Atlantic Federation had a deep relationship with Blue Cosmos, an organization with extreme discriminatory ideologies against coordinators. They followed the orders of Mirror de Azrael, the leader of Blue Cosmos, regarding the use of neutron jammer killers, and even gave practical command of nuclear missile attack units to Blue Cosmos. The future seems somewhat ominous. Additionally, it has been revealed that Kakari Yuraf have played a leading role in the establishment of Campus. In fact, Kakari's character is further developed in the high-grade model of the Apotsu King, took on a central leadership role in the Earth Alliance. It's unclear what position she holds in the era of the movie. From this statement alone, one could surmise she is effectively the leader of the Earth side. Also, let's focus on Toyamashima's character description. He is Kakali's secretary and is being groomed by Kakali to potentially lead Dob in the future. It's possible that the movie's climax might see Kakali assuming the official leadership of the Earth Alliance. The fact that Campus's headquarters are in Aurelius. The capital of France is also significant. The deployment of units like Gelgut Meers and Gian Shutram as exclusive mobile suits for Campus, despite being the latest models of the Soft Army, is likely related to the headquarters being in France's capital. It might be that the story is set up for Lost Crime to be the leader of space and Kakarin Yuraf had to be the leader of Earth. Another point to discuss is about the Black Knight Squad. It has been revealed that the term Black Knight Squad refers to a military unit name. It's now confirmed that Ophi and Ingrid, whose pilot suit appearances haven't been revealed, are also members of the Black Knight Squad. It seems likely that these two will also pilot mobile suits or mobile armors during the climax of the movie. When naming mobile suits in the movie, it would be more concise and clear to use short names like Shiva or Garnet. What's particularly striking is the surprisingly useful appearance of the Black Knight Squad members. Ophi is serving as the Chancellor of the Nation. Shiro is the Secretary of Defense and also the Commander of the Guards, written as the top of the military. Ingrid is the Secretary of State, described as the Head of Administration. Of course, their useful appearance could just be direction, and they might actually be older. However, compared to Mulok Flavier, they are clearly portrayed as younger characters. Mulok Flavier is over 30 years old at the time of the movie. Perhaps the youthfulness of the Black Knight Squad members is a significant aspect of the story. 
This applies to Queen Noor as well. One element that comes to mind regarding the youthfulness of the Black Knight Squad members is undoubtedly the destiny plan. It's a concept where one's profession and lifestyle are determined based on genetic aptitude. In fact, a similar concept has already been introduced in the Astray series, a spin-off work. The Martians living in the Mao sphere are one such example. To adapt to the harsh environment and scarce resources, they perform genetic modifications on humans to suit specific roles. Chairman Juno has shown a positive attitude towards the social structure of the Martians. However, Agnes Brady, an important Martian figure, has concluded that living a life bound by genetics is a mistake. The character, Venus while is someone whose aptitude for leadership has been determined genetically. However, throughout the story he harbors doubts about the act of ruling. He attempts to implement an improved version of the destiny plan, but ultimately concludes that humans can evolve without being dominated by their genetics. If the members of the Black Knight Squad were created through the destiny plan, their own confrontation with the nature of their existence might become a significant element of the story. Director Mitsuo Fukuto once mentioned in an interview that does one need qualifications to love someone might be a theme of the movie, and this could relate to the Black Knight's chord. Do those born as rulers or politicians have the right to pursue personal happiness? More fundamentally, do we need qualifications or rights to love others? Let's focus on these elements. Perhaps the romances between Nora Orphi and Ingrid might become an important aspect. In the promotional video, Ingrid's gaze at Dorothy and Laws walking together looking sad was striking. Nora is given the role of a queen, but does she truly desire to reign as a ruler? Similar themes have been explored in past Gunnan series. This happened in Crossbone Gunnan. A woman named Bellarona, expected to rule and guide people as a noble, did not wish to become a ruler. It was concluded that the person most suited to be a ruler does not desire to rule. Therefore, the policy of nobility ruling over the people is wrong. I'm looking forward to the story prepared for the Black Knight's Court. See you in the next episode of the program.